This TV stand is holding a 58 inch high sense flat screen. What's up, you guys? We got this microfiber futon from Walmart. Comes in a pretty nice size box. We have a compact car, so uh, it did fit in there, even though it was big. We ended up getting it in the car, but had to cut it out, uh, the box to get it out. It's in two pieces. Looks like all we have to do is add the legs. The legs are zipped inside the bottom of one of these, so there's a pocket that you unzip and the legs are in there. Let's put this thing together. So this is where the legs are zipped up inside here. Legs and a screw pack. And instructions. As always in the beginning of the video, you will find pictures, of the instructions, just in case your item did not come with any. Okay, you guys, looks like we have three parts, and that is, well, really two, the body and the legs, but we have two sets of legs. So we got the body at A, B is the slanted legs. They either probably will be in the front, and then we have the C piece, which is the two other legs. Let's see what the other instructions say. We got the Allen wrench and we got the bolts. So it's saying, unfold the cushion for step one, open the flap and find the legs. I did that already. I showed you in the beginning of the video inside the zipper pack where they are and that's pretty much it. Let's see which legs go where. I'm missing something. Okay, the instructions on the legs. So it looks like we have six legs the two straight ones which is going to be your c pieces they are the two that go in the middle of this piece and then four slanted legs they go um on the outer edges on the outer corners of the body but I want you guys to see which way, they're, which way they're slanting if the piece is facing you they will be slanted outward and then you just flip it over and you're done, okay? Okay, you guys, as you can see, all the legs look exactly alike. So you'll just be turning your, it says to put your B legs on first, but in fact, they're all the exact same leg. You'll just turn it. This is in this, the way that I have them laying, they're in the A position, but when you flip one of them over, it goes like the 90 degree to the right and that's what's making it be but it's only a flip it's just a turn and then you have the two c pieces that go in the middle then you have your screw pack so they're just screws now you have this allen wrench i mean they caught in the instructions it's called a hex key and it's also labeled as piece number a a is an allen wrench okay okay you guys there is a particular order that these pieces have to be lined up and you want those two holes, there's just one each there and one each there in the middle piece. You want those lined up with each other because that is where the C piece is going to connect to it like this. Okay. So you want those two like that in the, uh, on each end of the piece, you'll have the two screws where your A and B feet go. So just line it up. You know how to line it up evenly in the back. You'll, you'll be able to see it, that you line it up the couch based on the way that the couch is, uh, when, looks when you're sitting on it. So you're going to line those two up, and then that's the only order that you have to do. Then we're just going to put the feet on. Okay, so all I've done is it says to put the legs on first, but to me, it looks like it doesn't matter. So I'm going to go ahead on and connect the C pieces first, and I've already dropped my screws in. And I'm just fixing to tighten them up with the Allen wrench. Okay. 
So you guys, I'm gonna make sure that I, you guys uh, know what I'm saying because I think I said something wrong while ago. There's, there's only three pieces, A, B, and C. The A piece is the Allen wrench. All four of the legs are the B pieces and the C pieces are the two pieces that go in the middle. What's up, you guys? This is the 55-inch sliding door TV console from made by Mainstay, purchased at Walmart, and we're getting ready to put this thing together. Uh, it doesn't look like it should be too many pieces, but it looks like it's going to be a lot of screws. So, you know, as always, I'm going to put the pictures of the instructions in front of the video, just in case your item did not come with any. And then we're going to do a step-by-step we're going to do a step-by-step -step assembly. Okay, you guys, we got a lot of pieces here, but you have an A piece, B, C, D, it's a long board, E, E, two F pieces, two F boards, G, open, G, your backboard is going to be H, and it is not marked, but it is H. There is no I piece. J, these are the two J pieces, and K. Those are your pieces. There is no I. Then we got our screw pack. There's a lot of screws here, okay, you guys? The tools you're going to need is a fill-up, the Allen wrench that comes with the piece, and a hammer. Okay, you guys, so step one is to push nine cams, which are these, into the C piece and in the bottom of G piece. So that's going to be, you're going to put one in each one of these holes on C piece, and you're going to put one in each hole on your G piece. Step two is, after you do that, you're going to flip G over, and you're going to put in two, one and two, of the, the cams are in pack number one, and then you're going to put these cams into the back side of G, into those two holes on G, okay? So... Screw pack one with the round cams in it is going to go into C and G. Then you're going to flip G over and you should see two holes. And then you're going to grab pack number two and you're going to use two of these. And you're going to be using nine of the cams from pack one and two from pack two once you flip over the G piece. Okay, you guys, let's go through the screw pack. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Five head screw pack number 17 in it. And those are the two screws that go with this handle. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 is this long bar. 11, 12, 13, 14 is the label, 15, 
16. 17 is in the pack number five. 18, 19, 20, and 21. That is the screw pack. And remember, screws number 17 are in the handle with pack number five. Okay, step one is telling us to put nine hidden cams, which is this round one, into pieces C and G. And then to also put two cam screws into the opposite side of piece G. So here's something you gotta know though. There's a little opening here on this and they want that facing outward. And there is an arrow on there and it should be lined up with the outer part of where a screw could fit in, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you it and then I'm also gonna insert a picture here so you can see what it looks like the way that it should be facing. Okay, I'm only gonna show you one because you're gonna be doing the same thing with every single piece. So I'm gonna start with the C piece. It, there's an arrow on here that is telling you which way to insert this. Line it up with the opening of that hole here, okay? And um, there's also an arrow on here that's showing you which way they're gonna want you to turn it when you're screwing it down. Because essentially what it's gonna do is lock in those screw cams on the opposite side. That's telling me that this piece is gonna go to the other side of G. So it's gonna be lined up. The arrow is gonna be always pointing out to the opening, okay? And that's what it'll look like. This is the G board, and I'm doing the same thing with the G board with the opening of the cam screw facing outward. I just inserted this one incorrectly, so I'm gonna take that out. But it should be going with that opening facing outward so that you can insert a screw in there. That's why it's supposed to be open. This is the G board. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to flip this G board over and we're going to insert the screw cam, which is going to be from pack number two. These right here, these little round ones are from pack, not screw pack number one. And then this is your cam screw that we're going to insert on the other side of the G board. You're gonna use two of these. Depending on what your model looks like, they may not look like this exactly, but they'll look close to it. And as you can see, it has like a lip on it. That lip is supposed to be flat with the board with none of the end of the screw sticking out of it. So it said to screw it in, or you can hit it with a hammer and tap it in. What I'm gonna do is screw it in. This is the back side of the G board. The, part that has the black strip on it, which is where the door slides. I'm not gonna hit it with a hammer. I'm going to screw it in. Once you get that down to the lip, the lip should be laying flat on the board, and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, I'm screwing down the cam screw. Okay, you guys, the next step is going to be to attach G to the C piece. So, the cam screws and the track is facing away from me. It's forward of me. So, and the notch on C piece should be upward. C has a notch right here. That should be facing upward. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to line this up. And we're going to put this, we're going to line up this screw cam with the two holes that's on the end of C. Stand it like this with the notch facing upward again. And then we're going to turn those hidden cams on this C piece. And that's going to lock this C piece in place. All you got to do is just turn it. I don't know why my thingy keeps popping out, but it's not cooperating today. A little bit. We're going to turn it. You'll feel it tighten, and now you have C attached to G. We're moving on to step two. Okay, step two, we're going to be working with the B board. You're going to take two hidden cams, and you're going to insert them on each end with the opening and the elbow facing out so that you can stick a screw in there or a cam, I'm not sure what that's gonna be. And then that's gonna be on the left side of the board, just turn it so that it's lined up. And then we're also going to be using two screw cams on the very end of board B. That's down here. This step right here calls for board B and E. So you know E is your long board. The next step, because step two requires both of these pieces, B and E, you're gonna take the wooden dowels, which is in your pack um, number three, which is the two wooden dowels, and put one on each end of piece number E. And I'm just going to screw down my screw cams. Until the lip touch the board, it will stop for you. The lip does not go inside the board. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is, it's telling us to flip E over and fasten it to the upright C board and tighten in one hidden cam. So that's what we're about to do. Okay, you guys, I believe I said when you grab boards B and E to grab two screw cams from pack number two, you're going to need three because you're going to insert one into this long board, which is the E piece that you have the wooden dowels in. We're going to screw that down. We're going to go ahead on and screw this third one down. I think I said two, but you're going to need three when you pull out boards E and B. So you're going to screw in that third one into the board that has the one hole. As you can see, there's holes on this other side, but the one that has the one hole is going to be another screw cam. When you get to step two, you need three screw cams and two hidden cams. Now we're gonna take this E board and we're gonna set it in the nook on C. Just like that. That's what it's telling us to do. Then we're gonna tighten the B board. It goes on one end of this, and that's what we're getting ready to do now. So now we're gonna take the B board and attach it to the end of E and um, what piece is this? E and G, just like this. So the two ends right here with the screw cam sticking out, they're going to be up here by the tr where the track is facing outward um, on the end. And then there's this hole right here on the B piece for the wooden dial to go inside. It's going to be right here. So we're just going to line that up. And then we're going to... Um, We're gonna line this up and see how it just went right in. That's the way it's supposed to go. And this wooden dowel is gonna line up with the wooden dowel piece. The raw edges, you see they're all facing 
that way, outward. So I'm just gonna tap it in place, just like that. And the next step is going to be to take the, let's go through it. We're gonna go get the A board. And then we're gonna do, the, it looks like we're gonna do the exact same thing. You're gonna take three, two hidden cams, and you're gonna take two cam screws, and then we're gonna use them on the other end of this piece. So grab your A board. The A board and the B board looks identical, and you're gonna do the same thing. Insert your um, hidden cams. Why my hands keep getting so ashy? But um, insert the hidden cams, just like you did in the B board. Line it up, line it up. Make sure that arrow is out so there's an opening. And then we're gonna add two cam screws. This will be the final on the hidden cams. You should ha not have any more left after this. So we're just gonna insert the two screw cams on the end just like we just did the B-board. And we're gonna attach it to the other end, just like we did this one. It may look like it's not gonna stay, but you're gonna end up tightening up these screw cams. So that's what's gonna make it stay. Okay, so when you do this, go ahead on and tighten up your screw, your hidden cams. I'm not sure if I said it or not, but you're gonna go ahead on and tighten up your screw cams on the outside of G. So you'll just turn on the other side of where the track is. And you're gonna do the same thing with the A board. You're gonna line it up with the screw cams in, three screw cam cams, and then you're gonna, and two hidden cams, and you're gonna attach it to the other end, and on the outside of G piece, you're gonna lock that, you're gonna go ahead on and turn and lock those hidden cams. So now we're just gonna line up the A board to the other end of the G and E. Line up the screw cams with the screw cam holes on this side. And over here, that wooden dowel should line up up there. If I didn't say it, and um, go ahead on and turn your hidden cams on the outside of the GPs. Turn it and lock those in and lock this, board, this A board in. That's what it's gonna do. We're moving on to the next. Just so you understand what I'm saying, you're gonna put the two hidden cam, the two cam screws on the end of A and B and you're gonna put two hidden cams on the end of A and B. You're, and that hole that's right there, do not put a screw in it. I thought we were supposed to, but it said leave that open. This hole is supposed to be here. So do not put a cam screw in there. You're only using four pieces, two from pack number one and two from pack number two. Okay, go ahead on and grab your D board. And D, the D board is actually the top piece. The G board is actually the bottom piece, okay? So now we're working on the top. Flip the D board over and you should have six screw cams left. You're gonna screw them into this underside of the D board. You should have two holes on the end, two in the middle, and two on the other end. And you we're just gonna finish up screwing in these final, these final screw cams into board D.
Now we're gonna take the D board and we're gonna line it up. We're gonna line it up to the E, to the e board. And then we're gonna tighten the last four cam screws, okay? So we're going to line this up. I see my wooden down, it's coming loose. Okay, there we go. Line up your cam screws because, in, Get them to go into the hole that's in boards A and B on each end of this piece. And the cam screw, when we tighten it, that's what's going to lock it in. I got this end in. And I'm going to line up this piece so when I tighten these cam screws, I don't have to do anything else to this part. It's pretty much put together for the most part. You know, we'll get a lot of screws left. And I'm just going to line this up. I'm just going to pop back in. I'm going to go ahead on and tighten these. Because okay, let's see something here. You got to line all of them up. I was having too much trouble lining it up like that. So what I did was I flipped it over to create the box. Yeah. The lip is here on top. It's gonna be facing the end that has the nook in it. That little nook from the C piece is right here. And then the lip is on this end as well. I do hope that this is put together the right way, but for now, this is the way it's going to go. So, now we want to go in and lock, and lock those cam screws, because that's what's going to lock that, this top down. Remember, the G-board is actually, with the track on it, it's actually the bottom piece. other side and lock these two cam screws because I might have to hit that one with a hammer. Um, no problem with these two. Let's see what's going on here. Sometimes you have to help it. And then when I did that, it went right on in and locked. Okay, so now this top piece is put together. And that was your D piece. And so we're going to move on to the next step. Okay, you guys, step five is going to be, we're going to be working with the two legs, which is the two J pieces. And we're going to be working with the K piece, which is the frame. We're going to be using the Allen wrench, which is, number nine at the screw pack and we're going to be using all of number 19 screw pack okay we are attaching j to k which is the feet to the bottom rail which is the base and the it goes on the outer edge the j piece is on the outside but the screws you're going to screw on the inside just like this and this allen wrench is kind of tricky and this screw kind of didn't want to go in. So you just what I would normally do is do one on this end and then one on that end just so it's attached. But just however you want to do it, um, it was giving me a little trouble because the way that the allen wrench turned, it, it knocks up against this. So you kind of got to work with the allen wrench. 
but um, it is the right size and it will do it. So you'll just tighten that up. Two screws on each end from the screw pack 19. You should not have any more screws left after you do this step from the pack num from screw pack from screw pack number 19. What I figured out about adding J and K together was it's easier to put one screw on each end first and then put it in like halfway and then screw in the second one halfway and then go ahead on and tighten both of them up. Okay, step number six is we're gonna flip it over. Remember the track down here is the G piece. It's saying flip it over. Flip it over and we're gonna add the base. Okay, now we're gonna be using the screws, screw number 15 and screw number 16, attaching this base to the G board at the bottom. The G board is the one with the track on it and the track is on the inside. 15 is gonna go on each end. One, two, three. One, two, three. 16 from screws number 16 from the screw pack number 16 is gonna go in the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. 16 in the middle, 15 on the ends. Let's screw this thing in.
Okay, you guys, you should have nine number 16 screws that go four at the top, four at the bottom, and one in the middle, but I'm missing two screws. I do not have them. Uh, they weren't in my pack. So what I'm going to do is put one, two, three. I'm going to put one in the middle, and then on the opposite end, I'm going to put one, two, three, like that because I'm actually missing two screws. So I'm just gonna move them around. Um, but I'm definitely gonna put one because you should have a 16 that's right in the middle. And um, I'm gonna use that seventh screw right there because I actually have seven instead of nine. So if that's the case for you, just move the screws around, but make sure you put two on the end, two on that end, get your one in the middle, and then put the other two opposite of each other, which is what I'm gonna do. Okay, you guys, I did find my screws. I had accidentally screwed in my number 16s into a 15 spot because 15 goes on each end. It's going to be three of them there, three number 15s there, and then there's going to be eight number 16s. And what happened was my son had called and I thought my boy was going to ask me for some money and I had the screws in my hand and I just sat on down with him. I just literally sat on the floor and said, what, what are you finna say? And, <laughs> I, and that's what happened. So do me a favor, do yourself a favor. Don't mix your screws up. Okay, so what it's telling us to do in step number seven is to flip the piece over and we're going to add the H piece, which is your backing. We're going to be using nails, and this is where your hammer comes in from school pack number seven. Your H piece is your backing, and it's the fold out piece. And it also has a hole cut out for your cords. Make sure that the wood grain look is facing you should have one panel which is panel number C that has a raw edge so your backing should be facing that raw edge of C once you flip it over and you're just gonna lay that on top and you're gonna get your small silver screws from screw pack number seven and we're just gonna nail it in it already have pre-drilled holes or pre-punched holes for you. And so you're just gonna tap them in with the hammer. I'll do one or two of them for you so you can see how to do it. Okay, so I'm just gonna take some of these screws cause it's 32 of them. And I'm just gonna get the hammer and all the way to the other side. And that's all you have to do is just tap it along one edge, tap your nails in along one edge and press it flat a little. It's already flat, but press it down so you can make sure that you reach the other side with your board. And then we're probably gonna flip it over again at that point. And I am just tapping them all in just to hold it and then I'm going to go back over it and tap them down to the front. So just tap them in. And then I'm going to go all the way around it and tap them all the way in.
upright and it wants us to turn the piece back towards us with the track facing us. And then we're moving on to step number eight, which is where we're gonna put the doors and shelves in. The board E is facing me and it has two holes there. Okay, you guys, now we're working with screw pack piece number 13. You're gonna have to get all four pieces, which they look like this. And you're gonna, we're gonna be attaching them here. There's four holes here on piece number E. It's gonna be one, two, three, and four. There, this does have, it has two holes and one of them is bigger than the other. You're gonna lay the one, the piece that's flat because it's like a wave. But the, this piece right here is flat. It's gonna get screwed in just like that. The larger hole is gonna get screwed in right there using four screws from pack, screw pack number 21. It's gonna be the smallest screw that's in the pack. In here it says flathead, but they are not flat. They're, they don't mean the screwdriver. They just mean that the, the screw is a flathead screw and not a rounded screw like the ones from 15 and 16, from number 16. 16 is a rounded screw. Uh, 21 is a flathead screw. So we're gonna install these brackets flat end up like that. Okay, we are still inside step number eight. And what we're getting ready to do now is add our shelvings. That's gonna be your two F pieces. And then I want you to grab uh, screw pack number four, which is gonna be these silver pegs. Um, I actually had put it in and installed everything. Then I realized that the camera wasn't going. So you're gonna put these in, these holes, wherever you want your shelf to be. And I decided to put mine up in the middle on this side and then the bottom one on here. So you're gonna use two there, two, two there, and two there. That's what's gonna hold your board. You'll know which way because it has the notches for you to put your piece in. When you're putting it in, you're gonna put it in sideways. And it should sure you go right on here. And that's your board. I decided to go up and down just so I can put something taller here but you can clearly use your pegs in either hole and you have four height levels that you can 
move them, move your pieces around on. Now we're gonna move on to step number nine. We are working with piece number L, which is your final board. It will have two holes here, two holes here, two holes here. You're gonna be working with these little plastic cover-up knots that's on a little piece of paper like this, which is piece number six. Piece number 12, there's two of those. And screw pack screws uh, number 18. So you should have pieces the board is L, you should have 6, 12, and 18. And now we're gonna screw this down. So we're gonna put, you're gonna put it on with um, the piece that has a little extra right there, extended. That piece is going to be hanging over the edge when you put this piece on. There should be a hangover from this piece. Wait a 
wait a second, you guys. So those are getting attached to the side that just has the four holes. And then there's two right here. So these holes should be here. Do not put anything there. So when we flip it over, we're going to move on to step number 10. Flip the door over just like I did. And it's going to be time to add the door support. So let's do that. You piece number five, which is the handle, the door handle. This uses screw number 17. And for me, it came in the package. So this hole goes all the way through. And so I'm trying to see which way it wants me to put it in under. They're gonna go in from the underside. So I'll show you what I mean in just a second. We're gonna be using screw pack screws number 17. They go with the handle for five. We're gonna be using piece number 11. There's two of those, which is gonna go on each end. And we're gonna be using screw number 20 to screw down piece number 11, okay? So let's just go ahead and put piece number five on, which is the handle. We're gonna go ahead and put this handle on first. It uses screw pack number 17, and it's two of those. We're gonna go in from the bottom. Now the handle is gonna go in on this side, but the screw is gonna go in from the underside. So I'm just gonna turn it like this because it's just a little easier. So now I'm just gonna screw in the handle. Remember, we flipped this piece over, so those two black bars that we just put on, they are on the other side, see that? They're on that side, the two loose bars. And then on the opposite side, and there should only be those four holes plus the two holes that you can see for the handle. You're gonna put the screws in from that side, the side with the, the two black bars that we just installed. And we're just gonna put this handle on. that holds the, um, this is piece number 10. And um, we're gonna install the bar that holds it. So what it's telling us is the handle is here and this has like a rolling wheel. It's gonna be facing over there. And then we're just gonna attach. We're using screws number 20. Screws number 20. And these should be tightened all the way. Unlike the two on the other side, the bar should be loose. On this side, we're tightening all the way.
you guys. So what we're gonna do is those brackets that were hanging, these two black brackets, they should be hanging and they should be loose. Tilt the board back towards you with piece number 10, which is this black bar. Pull it all the way over, because that's the only way you're gonna be able to get it up here. Tilt it back towards you and slide those two pieces that are sticking out from the bottom onto the track. Then we're going to, there's four holes inside piece number 10, so we're gonna insert the screws upside down. So we're just, now you can turn it down so that the screw hole lines up with the last hole on the bracket. And I'm just gonna lift it up and sit it on there. It should just pop right onto those four brackets. And I'm just now just checking to make sure that my screw holes are turned downward so that I can put in the final screws. The final screws are gonna be the short screws from pack number 18. You should have four of them. We're gonna install the screw upside down like this. And that's our final step for this. And then the only thing we have left is the stickers, which is from the screw pack labeled number eight. Okay, you guys, if the door isn't sitting on the tr track or won't go, loosen up those two black bars that's, that we had that's on the other side. Loosen up the screw and it should do it then. The last and final piece is just the stickers that go on the inside to cover up the hidden cams. So. Whoop, didn't stick that one on right, did I? And that's how it goes. Now you can put these on before if you want to, but that's pretty much it. I do not own the rights to anything that's playing on the screensaver on my TV and the Fair Use Act is in place in the end of the video. I hope this video helped you guys. And I wanted to show you one more thing. We also bought the food time from Walmart and I do have a video on how to put that together. We will be buying two more of them and just placing them in the shape of a square U, if that makes sense, to have it look like a sectional. So this is how you can furnish your apartment or a den or any room in your home with pieces from Walmart that looks really simple and cute and low cost until you purchase the furniture that you want ours is actually still in storage so we just decided to go ahead on and put something in here until we go back home and get it but uh, it is a cute piece it's functional it is working um I'm gonna I did speed it up in the beginning on certain parts because the screwing in <laughs> some people actually need to see you do it so I did speed it up in those areas but 
um, it wasn't too bad and I hope that I laid the pieces out for you and numbered everything and as always in the beginning of the video will be the instructions I will have pictures of the instructions in front of the video and I hope that this helped you guys